This should be pretty quick. There was a few updates on the Pilot Flying J project as of late. There are 37 weeks left in the year with 166 stations left to open if they're going to hit their target of 200 by the end of the year, which equates to 4.5 per week. They did open one additional station, bringing the count to 34, and I'll get to that in just a second. However, the big news is on LinkedIn, someone posted that there is a way of tracking the price in the EVgo app for these stations, which didn't used to be the case. Because they were EVgo Extend locations, the EVgo app was not reflecting the current price. But that's changed. So if you go into the EVgo app and you pull up one of these stations and you click on a connector in order to prepare to charge, you'll be able to see the price. And so what I did is I went through and updated my table right here, this column with what EVgo is currently reporting. And almost always the cost went up. And I know the cost was accurate before because I personally charged there or people took pictures of the price and posted it to PlugShare. And these prices have been going up. And that's unfortunate. One of the locations, actually two of the locations used to be, where is it, um, per minute pricing, but they've been now changed to per kilowatt hour pricing. So there is that change as well. However, these prices have been increasing and after you sum those up and then divide by 34 you get 64 cents 64.82 cents per kilowatt hour as the average across the entire 34 locations the high price is 85 cents per kilowatt hour at castleton on hudson new york the low price is at two stations in georgia 55 cents per kilowatt hour so very expensive network and EV evgo is uh, putting in the hardware but pilot flying j are the ones who set the pricing now is said that GM owners are going to get discounted charging rates. So we're waiting on the specifics of that. Now, either they're purposefully um, inflating the rates in order to dissuade people from using them, in order to attract GM customers. GM customers are also going to be able to do in-route reservations at these stations, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of people using them because the price is so ridiculous. But regardless, or Pilot Flying J is just making a judgment call that that's the accurate market rate for these locations. I've also heard that some CPOs are, as a strategy, initially inflate the price in order to recoup some of their capital expenditure during the initial hype period, and then they lower the rates later. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's going on here, but the prices are ridiculously high. And let's go over the update. The one site that opened is Dade City, Florida on Interstate 75. Uh, 66 cents per kilowatt hour. It used to be labeled as San Antonio, Florida, but now it's Dade City. If you look in the EVgo app, it calls it Dade City. The two locations are close to each other. And spotted under construction, let me pause in the time zones. This is the central time zone, open. Mountain and Pacific time zones, open, sorted north to south. For spotted under construction, we now have 25 sites spotted under construction. One of them in Michigan and Lansing, uh, YouTuber Zero E Michigan is doing an e-bike tour of uh, central United States. And I think down into Appalachia, there's a place called the Tale of the Dragon, which he's bringing his e-bike to. And he's posting videos on YouTube. It's very interesting. I recommend going and checking out his channel. Uh, but he also posted a video of this location where he was able to interview one of the construction workers and got a good deal of information about what's going on there. Apparently the build will be complete in a couple of weeks and then they just have to wait for utilities. Looks very nice and it's a canopy location. It's been around for a long time and it's great to see it finally under construction. Similarly, these two locations have also been known to be builds for a very long time, but nothing's happened. But both of them are now in full swing. Toledo, actually the canopy is up. And Belmont, we don't know if there's a canopy, but we'll find out shortly. Both of those locations are going to be receiving NEVI funds. Um, another one, in my state of North Carolina, we've been waiting for this site on Interstate 95. It's the first six stall location, and you can see the stalls here. It's the first six stall location on Interstate 9 or in this network and it's right on Interstate 95 and we've been waiting for the transformer but the transformer is now in place so we're just waiting for the site to be energized and then commissioned very exciting this is in Kenley North Carolina also the state of Arkansas has awarded NEVI funds to two pilot flying J locations 
And I'm going to roll the Canopy slide deck. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.